There's no way you can mention rap in 2020 without bringing up Atlanta's own Lil Baby. What once felt like a one-hit wonder has quickly become one of the South's most reliable young hit-making lyricists. As quality controls on Lil Baby continues to rack up the hits on the charts, his very large fan base has increasingly become concerned with Dominique Jones' quality of life. Young baby, I go straight crazy. And shout out to Mr. Telefero TV. What up, what up, what up? I am yours truly, Mr. Telefero. Sometimes jokes made about celebrities online are fun. The memes, the Instagram posts, the tweets. They're cool, they get retweets, they get shares, all that great stuff. But sometimes I believe people forget that these are real human beings with real feelings and real emotions towards these things and their lives are being impacted by rumors and allegations made sometimes by fans. Lil Baby and his fans' obsession with claiming that he's on drugs has now been featured. Over the years, viral videos have continued to circulate, showing Lil Baby seemingly trying to get it together mid-video shoot, mid-performances, and even mid-interviews. He know the Migos, or he know him, or he got a hit song with him. Like, that's what all my takes, like, I really try to just go by myself. And I can, I, I can have songs. I'm in the studio with all, everybody. And I, and like, I got, like, contacts on everybody. <clears throat> like, since I've been rapping, like, big, big artists. But, but that's how you become big, though. You exactly. create the flow, you don't go with the flow. Exactly, I create my flow, then I... And y'all be like, damn, they on baby flow now. The most recent clip showed Lil Baby looks like he was fake pouring water during an interview with Power 105's Breakfast Club while promoting his album, My Turn. Lil Baby has openly rapped about Percocets back in 2008 on his Harder Than Ever tape on a record entitled Cash. Lil Baby Flatfoot said it's fuck the gym, he don't work out. Take a sip of the lean to watch the perk down. You see, you probably just missed it in those bars. Lil Baby has always been open about his addictions. As fans continue to try to force a Percocet addiction on Lil Baby, he's been screaming to his fans the whole time that his real addiction has been with Lean. Yeah, you know what we doing, dog. I'm red on that waffles, man. What have we brought? Why call it? Fun day. This ain't a Sunday. We call this the Walk Hard Fun Day. Little walk. Yeah, lean is still to this day the drink of choice for a lot of people. The way you consume it now, the way you get it now is a little bit different, but it's still the drink of choice for a lot of people. I had lean one time, and that one time was enough for me. Not because it was nasty or anything. No, actually the opposite. Lean went down so smoothly for me. It actually went down like Kool-Aid. And I was like, yeah, nah, I can see how people get addicted to this. It goes down entirely too smoothly. I'm used to alcohol taking shots. It going down roughly. So I never want to do it again until I do it again. With the Lean, I could just see how you can get addicted because it goes down so smooth. And you can look up three, four cups in and you can be like, what the heck did I just do to my body? I've been in studio sessions with rappers. I've seen some artists get through three, four cups of lean in one session. I've had artists tell me, yo, I need to take a lean break, like a smoke break. I've had artists tell me, yo, I need a lean break. I've even had an artist or two cancel an interview with me in totality, allegedly because of an incident that they had with lean the night before. Over the years, rap groups like 3-6 Mafia and UGK rap superstars like Lil Wayne and Future may lean more popular with their celebration of the coding in their music. But recently, though, Atlanta artists, including Future, have admitted that they've quit using lean in efforts of a healthier lifestyle. In a 2019 interview with Rap Genius, Future admitted he was afraid to tell his fans he quit using lean. I didn't want to tell nobody I stopped drinking lean because then they'll be like, oh, his music changed because he ain't drinking lean no more. I can hear when he changed it, he said. It's just hard when your fans used to you being a certain kind of way, a certain persona, you're afraid to change. In 2019, Offset told Hot 9-7 show, Ebro in the morning, that I'm getting off the drink 
this lean. It was never a cool thing for me. I was never putting pictures of me pouring it up and doing that. It became something I was doing. It became a hobby. It became something that I just gotta do. And then I started to notice like, I'm not gonna get to my full potential with this. Then people that you love start noticing, like your mama tell you, son, you just stop drinking that stuff. I take that hard like, damn. The most notable rap turnaround featured Gucci Man, who reportedly lost nearly 100 pounds over the last five years. One of the major contributing factors was dropping his lean addiction that cost Gucci nearly $500 a day at one point, reportedly. Drying out from drinking lean is probably the worst feeling in the world. You know, it tears your body down, it tears your mind down, Gucci said. I don't know what made me addicted to lean, but I do know that it took me out. It made me unprofessional. Yeah, yeah, they have a whole lot of yeah. too much fucking rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the back yard, yeah. fam. According to Lil Baby, he has been addicted to lean since he was around the age of 12. Before the rap fame, Lil Baby was already getting money in the streets, so affording lean wasn't a problem to him, admitting that at one point he could spend up to $5,000 a week on lean. That's $20,000 in lean a month, nearly a quarter of a million dollars a year on lean. Now you are sipping, are you a heavy sipper? I'm a drinker, you know what I'm saying? I don't see, I drink like, you know what I'm saying? Heavy? I heavy like, um, like, heavy like, probably spend like four, five thousand a week on lean. How long have you been using lean for? Like forever, like when it went cool, when niggas went like sipping or whatever they call it or whatever, like, back then, probably like 08, young nigga. Like the older dudes I was hanging with, they was on the lean, you know what I'm saying? So nigga trying everything they trying. Like I be kind of flowing when I be high, you know what I'm saying? Like it gets me high, you know what I'm saying? I just float like, be in a good mood, you know, I want to be bothered because I really don't like being bothered, period. You know what I'm saying? I got a real attitude problem, like, I don't like being bothered, like, I'm kind of alone, I'm like I be to myself, like, the drink, you know, it kind of, keeps me going throughout the day. Would you say you're addicted to it? Yeah, definitely, like, like, cause, cause I quit every day. Like, I ain't fucking <laughs> with the drink. Like, bro, like, I, I got some, like, hell on, I'm straight, I don't want it. And later on, like, you got that? So, like, sometimes when I don't drink the lean, like, my stomach be fucked up. Like, I don't be able to eat right or nothing, like, and I be super cranky or whatever, whatever. So, I just try to keep it in my system. Actually, the best thing that happened to Lil Baby's lean addiction was going to prison for two years. The worst thing to happen to Lil Baby's lean addiction was getting out on parole. I couldn't smoke on parole, so lean was what I could do. In 2018, Lil Baby almost kicked his lean habit, even going up to the breakfast club to celebrate being lean free. I used to be on lean heavy, like five, six ounces a day. You know what I'm saying? That's like a pint in two days. But that shit started fucking with me. <clears throat> Read different, talk different, feel different, like everything. Did you get the then, like, belly? Yeah, definitely. Like you can see on my Instagram, like from pictures from then, I look way bigger than what I look now. Like I was wearing like 165, like now I weigh 140. Mm. That like two months of not drinking lean, I lost 20 pounds. Damn. You know what I'm that shit serious. How long would you want it? Forever. Somewhere during this journey, baby had a relapse though. On his 2019 feature with Yo Gotti entitled Put a Date on It. Baby admitted, I done told these folks that I quit, knowing goddamn well a nigga still sipping syrup. Lil Baby is one of my personal favorite artists to come out in the last decade. Look, we all got addictions. Some people's addictions is food. Some people's addiction is money, sex, a multitude of things. We all got things that we suppress and keep to ourselves. So I appreciate Lil Baby for letting the world know what his addiction is, putting it in his music, telling people in interviews like, yo, I've been addicted to this since I was 12, I'm not glorifying it. I make better music when I do this substance. I appreciate that honesty, but I do want this artist that I really like to be around. And there is another side to this, right? There is an argument to be made playing devil's advocate, like, Lil Baby, if you can admit that you have a problem, if we know you got the money, because you're super successful right now, why don't you take the necessary time and the necessary steps to fix yourself from this addiction before it costs you your career or more importantly your family or the most important thing your life where is little baby in his quest to stop using lean now well in march of 2020 
Lil Baby reiterated to Joe Budden that despite the jokes, he still does not take Percocets, but he still drinks lean because it helps him make better music. People think I take perks and all that bullshit, I don't do none of that, but I do drink lean and it really is, you be slowed down, like, like your words slur. You drink lean? Yeah, not, not like that, but yeah, that's like one of the things. I ain't gonna say it's a habit, because I can just start when I want to, but I be on it. Well, some people say that when it's a habit. Well, they can start when they want to. I be having to stop, like, I know I've stopped, so like. You've done it before. Right. Seeing how some of these little rappers get down, like, first off, like, rest in peace to all. 100%. Who lost their lights to, like, drugs and stuff. And I'm, like, big on that, like, don't do that. Like, even though it's, like, kind of almost a hypocrite, because I, I do it to an extent, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you think it helps creatively? Definitely. Like, definitely. Right? Mm. It does. Have you been able to hear the difference in your music off it and on it? Like you can spot it and you right. say, oh. Right, but I'm also smart enough to know that that's in my head too. Got it. Because the drugs is just giving me a feeling, so now I'm comfortable enough to let certain stuff come mm -hmm. out. But if I get off the drugs and then I just get in that stage of just being comfortable, I'll be able to put them same words together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the drugs just get me in that comfort zone. Like, not even the drugs, because I'm smoking weed when I get high. Like, and then when I'm not high, I don't really feel like rapping. Mm -hmm. like, so it definitely gives you a, a different creative space. Look, I don't know where Lil Baby's at in his day-to-day -day process with kicking lean. I'm not even sure if he's trying to do that day in and day out. You just saw he admitted to Joe Budden, like, yo, I make better music on lean, and that's a tough thing for me to balance. Do I want to be Lil Baby the artist, or do I want to be a healthy Dominique Jones? I don't know where he's at in that process. I can tell you this, I've had the opportunity to interview Lil Baby twice. Once when his career first started, when my dog was just getting off the ground, bubbling in the streets, and I've interviewed him recently. I can tell you, he's a much better speaker than when I first interviewed Atlanta's own Maybe you can attach that to being removed from the streets more since he's so successful and doing shows and on the road all the time, in the studio all the time. Maybe you can attach that from removing himself from some of the drugs that he's admitted to using in the past casually. I don't know. Only Lil Baby has the answers to that question. But from a success standpoint though, I can't name three artists that are having a better three year wave than Lil Baby right now. This album, My Turn, debuted at number one with nearly 190,000 units sold first week. That album has already been streamed over a billion times. Singles like Woe and Some to Prove have already had 2020 moments in the culture. A legend like Lil Wayne recently admitted that right now Lil Baby is his favorite artist. And Lil Baby is just getting started. The reason why I would even decide to do a video like this is kind of out of my element, but there's a story to be told. As Lil Baby continues to progress as an artist, he is getting clowned on social media for an addiction that he claims he don't even got. But he's admitting to you that there is another addiction that he's battling with. We're too busy making jokes about this man on something he ain't even battling with day in and day out, but there is another addiction that he's battling with. I just wanted to debunk those false rumors. Now it's time for you to chime in. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment box below. Also, let me know your favorite project from Lil Baby all time. Favorite record from Lil Baby as well. And please make sure you continue to support me by commenting, letting your feedback be heard in the comment box below. Subscribing to me on YouTube and following me on Instagram. Add is Mr. Teleferro so we prove to these businesses that I got a following not just on YouTube but on Instagram as well. I really appreciate the love and support. If you're enjoying videos like this, more of them will come if you continue to blow videos like these up with views, likes, comments, all that great stuff. Let's show them that hip hop can have real journalism done by a real report. Thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out. Rock that show, man on the tour bus. Rock so that dates catch every day. I got you a bag, a lot of bread. She know my pet. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead.
Yeah. Put your hands in front of it. Put your hands in front of it.